What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Brian here. Just wanted to bring you guys a little update on the 65. Settling in nicely. The newish setup. Oh, here comes the cat to push on my arms. It's like he just appears when I have the camera. I don't even know how he knows. And then he comes and sits on my lap. Anyway, let's talk about the pothos first. So it's growing out like past the tank over on this side. This part's super thick. This is all new, going up the wall here and back there. This thing in the middle is not pothos. The longer green leaves, darker green leaves. I don't know what it is, but that's all kind of like in here. And then that's pothos, and that's pothos. Tank-wise, let's see. You can barely see them on camera up here there are resboras they mainly hang out up in this corner it seems but they go all through the roots <clears throat> you'll notice I took the black background I had in there out so you can see the white wall behind it it makes it easier <clears throat> sorry I got a frog in my throat makes it easier to see the fish against the white background and the discus tend to stay more in the front of the tank I noticed and same with the Congo Tetras if there's no black background so that's cool you can see them more anyway there's resboras up here purple morph so that's why they're hard to see then we got the cardinals uh, I haven't counted them lately, but I assume they're all doing fine. I haven't found any bodies or anything. Not that that means much, because bodies wouldn't last long in this tank with all the quarries and stuff. Damn cat. Get out of here, boy. So let's see what we got a little closer. The glare's worse the closer I get, but... You can see there's quarries all over the place in here, different kinds. A uh, mixture of bronze, julii, and stereby, same as before, I haven't added any new ones. The congos are looking good, their dorsal fins are getting really long, they're getting nice and thick. Their colors are good too, it's hard to see on camera, but they have like a very good rainbow sheen. Discus obviously look good, they're playing around with each other. There's more quarries under that log. Not log, piece of wood. All three of the plecos are doing good. There's one of them on the bottom of that. I don't see the other two at the moment, but I've seen them within the last couple of days. They're getting bigger. So yeah, my maintenance now on this tank is a lot less than I used to do. I used to do 10% a day just because I thought that's what you're supposed to do with discus or whatever, just to keep it super clean. And then I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to be scientific about it. And I just started testing my water and realized that it can go quite a while before it needs a change. So now about once a week or maybe twice a week. I have a little pump that I set up to make it easier. I do about a 30% water change. Sometimes 50, whatever. It depends on how much time I have, but I'm not on any set schedule. I just, and that's more than enough, is what I'm saying. Between that and the pothos, the pothos, if I let this go, will kind of drain the tank. So 
I don't know, after three or four days, it drops maybe f three or four percent, basically like one percent a day, I would guess. So if I let it go for a few days and then fill it back up, it's like sort of like an auto water change system. A very slow, bad one. But you can see all the fish are doing great. The discus are like in total goof off mode right now, which is awesome. They usually don't do that on camera. The water is yellowish, but that's, you know, I've got all these leaves decaying in here. <clears throat> which the Corys love to hide in, and the, the discus love to play in. See, they go sideways to get underneath the logs. I keep saying logs, but not logs. Whatever. You know what I mean. The driftwood. It's not driftwood either. Half of this stuff I just chopped up outside in the woods. The other half is like spider wood that I bought at fish stores. And then I just... Oh, and that piece on top over there is a tree root. They did construction across the street and tore up all the trees. I grabbed one of the roots. And that's been in tanks of mine for like months now, so you can't even tell anymore. It just looks like a piece of driftwood, but... This is one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of wood all put together. These leaves are just from a house plant that I have downstairs. It loses leaves every once in a while, they dry up. I just took some of them, boiled them, put them in. Yeah, so this tank's pretty good. The only thing I kind of regret is the resboras. That was a bit of an impulse buy. I've wanted to keep them for a while, but putting them in this tank was kind of pointless because they just hide up there. You can barely see them. Can't see them at all on camera as far as I can tell. Maybe on a bigger screen you could see it better, but... Anyway, they just hide up there and they're still pretty small, I don't know. Actually, I found out we're probably gonna end up moving here in a couple months, which I didn't think I was gonna move before I left China. But my landlord is being a butthead and wants to raise our rent by a lot, and it's not worth it, so... We're gonna go closer to my wife's job and get a bigger place over there, because rents are cheaper over there. So I'm going to have to reset up all my fish tanks and move everything. And that's kind of put like a hold on all my plans. I don't want to like do any new stuff because I'm going to have to break down all these tanks, take all the fish. I've never moved fish before, so I'm sure I'm going to mess something up and lose fish somehow. But... Anyway, my point is, after the move, I'm probably going to end up putting the reservoirs in a different tank. I'm thinking about changing things up. Like, making this tank only South American species. Like, everything I have from South America goes in this tank. And then... I would have to do a mixed tank of... I'm not going to put the bl the balloon, uh, electric balloon rams in here, but every, everything else that I have from South America would go in this tank. And then... Everything Asian and African would go in the 45. And then the... The little tank would still be the beta, the two balloon rams. Once the forktail blue eyes are big enough, they're going to go in the 45 too. However, if I take out the flag cichlid and put it in here, I feel like 
<clears throat> I could put them in the 45 and they would be fine. Nothing's going to eat them. So anyway, changes will be coming. I'm going to have to move and I'm going to switch around stocking. So in the meantime, I'm not going to get any new fish and I'm not going to make any big changes to any tanks because I'm going to end up having to break down everything. So yeah, I guess that's it. Sorry this video was kind of long. It turned in it was going to be a tank update and it turned into a general update. But the fish are looking good and swimming around, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.